Hi, this is Mary Minetti, and I am showing you here my junk pile. I pulled these out of the different boxes and places that I keep them in, but I wanted to show you all of the different things that you could use in your junk journals, and I'll talk to you about some of the things that you could make with these. And um, then I'm issuing a challenge to everybody to come up with ideas of what you could make with any of these items that you must have similar things at home. So I'm gonna start over here. These are the fabric softener sheets and they're all a little bit different depending on what brand you buy, but they're, some are, are more flexible than others. But these are awesome because you can use it as, if you iron this, you could use it as a page, or actually you don't even have to iron it, but it could be one of the pages on your journal and then you can add to it. Um, you can cut this into strips um, and then you could ruffle it. You could take those strips and uh, turn them around and, and do a ruffle, a circular ruffle and keep turning it to make um, circles out of it and make little flowers you could um, cut out circles out of here. Um, I would do odd shapes and then layer them to make a flower. Uh, just so many different things that you could do. So save those dryer sheets. And then along with the laundry, I use the uh, color grabber things. And you can see I just have three here. This one, I washed something black and this pulled out all of the black and it made this really pretty nice dove gray that I can use, again, either as a page, cut it out into strips, uh, ruffle it, or uh, use it to make you know different shapes that you've got or your dangles. And then this one is, I washed it with something greenish turquoisey color and look at how pretty that is. Now I just want to go wash things. <laughs> That's your, your color grabber things. <laughs> this is a bag that I got when I stayed with my grandkids at the hotel um, that has the water park inside. I don't remember the name of it. But on this, I mean, you could cut out this whole little design on here and use that, or you could use just parts of the burlap. You've all seen burlap used for different things, so that's there. And look at this ribbon. You can use this, take this out of here, and you can use that for all kinds of things. So that's my burlap. This is just a mailer that um, I received from, I believe it was Amazon that this came in. And there's other things out there too, but you can use this to make pockets. You can open this you can use the bubbles or any bubble wrap that you have and you can paint it um, you can you know again use it as a pocket so that's things there these are different little bags that jewelry and little trinkets and things came in and those could be used as a pocket or if you don't want to use it as a pocket, you can, you know, cut these apart and use this fabric for something. It's, I mean, they're just adorable little bags that I've got here. Got this little oriental one. It's already got little uh, tabs on the tie. And then this one I'm thinking about, but I think I'm going to cut this apart and use that as an overlay over something when I get to that one. These are all just tags off of clothing. And when you look at these and see, I'm gonna put this underneath here for some contrast. Um, all these little tags, you can take them and then you cover them with whatever you like. Look at this one, it'll be great on a dangle. It already has the string on it and a little safety pin on there that you can use for your dangle. Just cover up the stuff you don't like. You might like it's saying done. You might like it saying Ray. Um, you know, just look at them and see. I don't even know where these came from, um, but they were in, they must have been in something somebody gave me or something. 
at this pretty black one it has an A on it. You might want an A. Um, it's also got a pretty little dangle that I'm going to use for something. Marshalls Jansport. Look at these tags. This is off of one uh, backpack that this came off of. It's already got the little corners on it. They're nice and sturdy. This one again has the tag already and the little pin clip to hold it on. This one also has the string already there and the clip to hold it on somewhere. Aren't those awesome? I just love them. And again on these, you know, you like the word lucky? Leave that part on there and, and cover up the rest of it. Awesome tags. Here's some more. This one, somebody gave something to me um, and that was the tag that was on it. Look at these cute little round ones that came. And again, they've already got the string on them. This one from the company Wise Owl, here's a big tag and it's, you know, it's already a little mini journal right there. You just have to cover it up. Um, leave some of it in there if you want, take it out if you want. And then this is a uh, scratch off. I think they wanted me to advertise for them on my window. <laughs> so, but it's a, it's a scratch off and I will take that out and use either the owl or I'll use it all somewhere. It says wise owl outfitters. I have no idea what I'm going to use with these that I got after I had my uh, eyes examined, but there must be something I can do, if nothing else, to take these little arms off and use those for something. But I'll think of something, and maybe you guys in the challenge will come up with something for me. Another tag. Okay, this is awesome. My sister did one of these for me. This is a chewing gum box, and I haven't finished the chewing gum but it's got a little pocket here and it's got a little pocket there. So you just cover this all with whatever pretty fabrics that you have, decorate it any way you want. And then this folds over and she sent it to me and she had cut up some papers that fit in here just perfect for notes. And it's great to throw in your purse. She did a, added a uh, button on top, or I think she used a brad and then use the string to wrap around it to keep it closed. Awesome. Here's some more odd things that um, I have. This is a card from my sister. I haven't decided if I'm going to uh, use this or not, but look, at it's a great big tag and it's got a ribbon on it already. I could use this part. I could even use the words that are on there now. And then this is the back. Is that too cool? Uh, this is came around a baby blanket and I left it the way that it was. So I've got the, uh, the cardboards here. I can use this as it is, cut, cover this up with something, leave the holes in it and use it to wrap something up. Or I can take it apart. Look at that great ribbon that's in there. This one is off of some cleaning cloths and I'm trying to figure out how I can do this um, and take advantage of the way that this opens like this and that might be that I cut this off and use it that way um, but we'll see challenge there's a coaster Rainier uh, is a brand of beer in Washington I'll can decorate that the way that it is. I can use it as a spinner. I can uh, use it as a pocket. I, you know, it's so many different things. This one, again, I'm trying to figure out if there's some way that I can use this intact the way that it is, um, you know, or, or fold it up. But if not, you know, I just cut it out and use it for a tag, right? These came off of some dog toys. Um, they were put on here with uh, the those little plastic thingies, you know, like this one. But uh, nice, sturdy cardboard that I can use for something. This is hair barrettes. It had several barrettes on it. One, two, three, four barrettes, different barrettes on it. And 
gosh, this could be the front and you could put lace in there to lace up and unlace or it's very, very thick cardboard. So I have to think about that one. It's already got the hole up here. Pretty design there though that could be used. These are the uh, slides, old negative slides, or not negatives, old slides. And I know that people have used these for a lot of different things and cut out the film and then just decorated around it and used it as a little frame. Um, but possibility, right? Here's another little tag around one with a... Uh, a long one with it but that's one of those plastic things I would probably take that off but you could use that picture right there in one of your collages um, these I'm trying to think of how I'm going to use these because I love the idea of the nail and I want to leave it and somehow use it as a spinner maybe maybe not we'll see those are also off of um, cat toys or dog toys because the squeakers this is a bag still has the the seeds in it for catnip it was just something i found in my junk drawer never planted the seeds but that's going to go into something okay and look at this one this is also a cat toy i'm going to figure out how to hold this you know i'll attach it on the page and then when somebody opens that page it's going to pop up maybe We'll see if it works. I might have to cut it in half. But I really liked the look of it. So there's that. This is one of my cat's collars that he didn't like. So I kept it. Um, this one happens to have a skeleton or zombie faces on it or something. But it's got a perfectly good buckle that I could use somewhere um, on a... Uh, journal. It's got another adjustment here. Here's the buckle. Here's the little uh, tab that you put the leash through. So all of these things can be used for something. Now these are pretty bright. This was uh, at an art show. These were when I paid to get in. This is what they gave me and it got me into two different areas. They're pretty bright for me, but I'm going to see if I can come up with something in some way to use those, um, you know, even just as a border on something, um, but kind of cute. This came around a journal. Look, it's an already made book band. That's what it was. It was a band around a book, and I'm just going to cover it with something and uh, use this one. Look at this little tiny area for journaling. <laughs> so, just thought of that. I know that you have seen toilet paper rolls and paper towel rolls. There's all kinds of things that you can do with these. They make the little books that are the circles that you can tie up. They, you can just flatten it out and use it as paper. You can cut it this way and make rings. I like dimension in my journals. So, um, and just so many different things that you can do with this. Don't throw it out, you know, try it and see what you might come up with. So that's just some of the things that I happen to have in my stash right now. And um, all, all good things and so many different opportunities. So there's your challenge. See what you can come up with uh, out of anything that you have similar to this and uh, go for it. So thank you everyone for watching, and um, if you want, whoa, <laughs> if you want to uh, uh, label this, let's call it the junk challenge, and um, how about the real junk challenge, and um, put your hashtag real junk challenge, and uh, we'll see what everybody comes up with. So thank you.